and the flavor of life is find something that you're willing to die for and stand behind that. Don't move from it, don't alter with it, that life has to have a purpose. There's a reason in which Allah sent us upon this earth and it's not for a good time. Alhamdulillah that Prophet comes to teach us to die before you die. Well how can you die if you don't know what you want to die for? That's under your control. When you die is under Allah's control. What you want to die for is under your control. We pray that the understanding enters into the heart to die for Allah and to die for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and to live a life that Allah accept us to be in that service and that our head to be at their throne and waiting, waiting for their isharat, waiting to have a purpose in our life. When we live a life with that understanding it's the highest of Divinely coordinates, Ya Rabbi give my life a purpose that I want to live and die in your way. And that doesn't mean exploding yourself because you don't harm anyone but that my life serves a purpose for you. Not that it can improve Allah but to live a life of khidmat and service. And what Allah says, and serve my creation, love my creation, serve them, feed them, teach them and teach them the highest of my teachings, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And every time a difficulty and shaitan comes and every hardship that comes to us to test us and to distract us, why you gotta die for that? And if we don't have that purpose and we don't keep that coordinates, this life is like a tufan, it's like a, it's like a storm. And if you watch these hurricanes and storms, anything loose it's gone. It, the wind has taken it and it's gone and most likely it blows around and hurts everybody. Anything not tied down, not having a purpose, not having an understanding and an ending. We don't write the book day to day but we write the end, the last chapter, let me die in your way Ya Rabbi. Let me die in your way, in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and Ashiqeen. What was the one that Ahlul Bayt were teaching us in page 19? That's a, a love of mentioning all these Ahlul Bayt and, and their reality, fi barakatihim wa amitna fi tariqatihim and let me too die on that path. And my feet not to become clever and go in a different direction. And at the end you find out you died for what? For money, for businesses, for bank accounts, all of which somebody else will steal. And it won't even go the direction you wanted it to go. And every family fighting over these things and that was all the purpose of that life. If we don't keep the coordinates of, no Ya Rabbi I want to die for you, I want to die for your most beloved so that I'm in the association of their ishq and their love. And with that ishq and that love they inspire then a purpose for your life. That study, learn these realities, sit in the association of these praises. And it's so easy for everybody to send a click, share a click, share an article. You get the blessings of like the one who wrote the article. Don't write your own and make it all incorrect and you'll be accountable for that. Just sharing that article, sharing these links, sharing this stream and making that intention, Ya Rabbi let me to die in your way, let me to die with faith. Be raised in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad
in my life has a purpose. We tried our best to serve, to do, to write, to teach, to give good character, everyone in their own capacity. Even just to have good character at the zawiyah, at work, wherever you are and be an ambassador for that love. You take that oath that, Ya Rabbi I'm going to admitna fi tariqatihim, I want to die on my spiritual path. That any moment death is going to come when I write that last chapter is the most important chapter. Then you know the whole course of your life. People don't know what they want to do, they don't know what they want to be, they don't want to… they don't know what they want to become. That is the stupidest book on earth. Can you imagine writing a book like that? That you don't even understand what the last chapter is going to be? What are you writing? Have you seen movies like that? You watch a movie and say, what the heck is this? It's, it's so badly written they have to describe their plot as they're talking. But in life the best are the ones whom write their last chapter. Amitna fi tariqatihim Ya Rabbi, my last chapter I want to die and live in your way for your satisfaction and your pleasure and that is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Not to leave that love and think I became clever and those are other groups that they don't accept that love and don't accept, then you become his for shaitan and that was the aqidah of shaitan. And when I write that last chapter my whole life is to reach that because every day I'll write the last chapter and put it on my mirror that my life is to live and die in the way of Allah and nobody's going to take me off that path other than Allah And every day you have to work towards that chapter. I'm going to pray because I want to reach that chapter. I want to do good because I want to reach that chapter. I want to take care of other people because I want to reach that chapter. I want to attend the associations of that chapter. Associations of dancing and parties is not the last chapter, that's a different. So then the last chapter are those whom are in the halaqahs and circles of paradise. Why aren't they sitting in a circle of paradise if they love paradise so much? The only guarantee on this earth from Sayyidina Muhammad was what? They didn't say the masjid is paradise. He said the halaqahs of zikr are circles of paradise. So if I want to be from my last chapter, I want to be in your paradise Ya Rabbi then all my life is to find those circles and attend. And alhamdulillah now even easier is virtual. I turn on the live, I close my eyes, I'm in their association. Coming soon are the oculus <laughs> and you can feel the association. You put on your clothes and you'll see all the grand shaykhs in their images. All of their graphics will be put into there so that you can feel it with your being. You fake it until you make it, until they open for your heart to sit in that association all the time. We pray that Allah keep us on our last chapter. Give us a life that, that makes that last chapter to be very beautific, very fragranted in which the nafs returns to Allah Allah will ask, are you happy and satisfied? And every response is, Ya Rabbi I am very content and satisfied with whatever you've bestowed. Nafs al radiya the one, the soul that is, is content and in love with Allah what Allah has bestowed upon it. Subhana Rabbika Rabbana Izzati Amma Yaseefun Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. بحرمة محمد المصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة